So today, today we will read Sri Sri Vilapa Kusumanjali, verse number 45. Oh, Mugdhangi, beautiful limbed girl. O Sumuki, fair faced girl, when will this maid servant sit close by you and lovingly hand you the paraphernalia? when you offer formal oblations to the sun god, sitting on an altar made of sunstones, surrounded by your friends. This is a meditation to the Beautiful face cutting of Radhika on her face. How is the beautiful eyes? What beautiful nose I never see. The lips. What is that? What? So much. No, first one. Mood no, no. Angi. Mood ah. Angi. When I face, face. Mukha means face. Angi means the created by that. Somebody creates every part of your eyes, nose, hair. Forehead, lips, your eyebrow, everything is so special. It never I see like this beauty any place. And second one, so mukhi, so mukhi, mm. and the color. Of your uh, our mascara is also is healing by meditation. Thinking is a healing. It's not. It never is happening to me in my life. When the Rati Manjari in meditation, meditating in the face of Radhika, she is very fine. Radhika Radhika. Mohani jaya ho luk chale ya. Ji. Udeno Balram ji do prit nika. Ji. Yeah. So it's very beautiful. So this is the meditation of Raghunath Das Goswami in his Siddhartha. Please. Oh, Mukt Angi. Hmm. Oh, Sumukhi. When will this maid servant? When this will happen? It's never happening. <laughs> I become maid servant when it's never happened that I meditate like this. When this will happen to me? 
I say that I am a maid servant, I am practicing Manjuri work. But it never happened to me when it will happen. Well, without this meditation, how I can become your dasi? When? When? What good is what I have to do to find it out myself, through to fix myself in her face? <laughs> when this will happen? Ah. <laughs> because when? why? Because I have so many different ideas to meditate. I'm meditating in different way. My mind is in manovrti. Is running out and out. I my chetavirti is not fixed one pointed. In my bhav last rati, that I have to reach and fix myself in my siddha deha to to fix with one pointed. It only with you. Then my Siddha Deha can alive. Yeah. Go on. When will this mate servant? Uh -huh. Sit close by you. Ah, when I will sit close to you, I am sitting close many other places. <laughs> but not close with you. I never think that I am close to you. I now feel myself near to you. So I, how I can see your face. I can meditate in your beauty of your eyes, eyebrow, forehead, your nose, your lips, your smile. When you angry, how are you? your eyebrow and when you're happy how your eyebrow is moving. How you see with your pallo from the growth outside to Krishna. What is it? With the side glance. When I will sit here close, then I can meditate like that. With all actions, and all your feelings by looking to you, it will come to my heart. When will this maid servant sit close by you? And lovingly, and lovingly hand you the paraphernalia when you offer formal 
oblations to the sun god sitting oh what do you need that so i am bringing that what you will ask i will be arranging before to you that you no need to ask for me how is the oneness of manjari with radhi she no say that we bring this water and this, and this. <coughs> what paraphernalia you need i will i am holding carrying that that, that anything you ask i will put immediately organizes before you ask i will do this yeah. when you offer formal oblations to the sun god formal thing that time i am a wise fool the formal obligation of you do these things formal but i am very cautious at formal time also when you are formal obligations just show and to do for your grandmother a mother in law that time that time i am caring i don't give you to think for that is formal not that you are meeting with you no. so i am serious to serve you informal i am serious than when you are informal with krishna also i am very serious that this is the meaning of the task you are sitting on an altar made of sunstones mm. surrounded by your friends in his transcendental visions shiragunadasa relishes the flavors of ornamenting swamini and when this vision disappears he prays for devotional service wow then he pray in sadhak they had this no service sadhak they have if i have no devotional service how i will go back to my sadhak if i do that in sadhak they have something else than devotion thinking for radhika how i will go back in my sadhak deha in the physical sadhak deha also what i want to reach i have to do in sadhak deha that time i cannot say that i will not remember you i will do my some job that time also we have to do on the one pointed meditation of sadhak yeah one point meditation then i have so much of obligation of material world and managing to living the life yes this obligation is also to go in sadhak deha is the goal is to go in sadhak deha this obligation i have to organize 
So what is the service? For going inside the Deha is the service. Is going for the real goal in the service is to manage some material things, to balance myself. So who is whose service you are doing? Radhika service you are doing, not your business you are doing. That time also she has to be in the point. That is Manjari. Every moment she is there in the service, why not to do? I'm a grahasta, I have a children, wife, all, and I have to do something to balance economic, to earn money. So why are you doing this? To realize in this life, my sister there. So what is my goal? To become multimillionaire, a Bernard Dalmia? No, no, this is not my goal. Goal is to be to develop doing this practice that I become more peaceful, you know, to practice my there. He will give sufficient, less working, more coming. Yeah. Why? More coming. Because Krishna will carry. Radha Rani not know this. And Lakshmi is also Radhika, one of the expansion. Radhika, one of the expansion is Lakshmi also. Mm -hmm. Where the Lakshmi live in the house, where is the tolerance? Where the Lakshmi live, where is the unity? Where the Lakshmi stay, when the compassion for others? Where the Lakshmi stay, when the harmony is there? What is, who is teaching these things? Radharani Masi is coming. Lakshmi, where is she will go out? Never can go out. So, before I was not doing, so Lakshmi was not staying with me. When this is the goal to, to be in always my Siddha Deha and Sir, see that? Is happening on We select wrong way and we think that we are spiritual. Either you do the religious practice for your benefit and you think that you are spiritual. Lava puja patista, earning money. for benefit of you, like this you things do, and it's there. Uh, I have no, no mercy. And how mercy will come without doing desire for the sin that they have to go? All material circumstances <laughs> will become favorable. All favorable. Believe me. It's not theory, it's a realization of words I say you. Your sickness will go, your suffering will go. Your problem will go, my dear. We are the person who creates the problem. My, my material attachment is my problem.
material desires are the problem, but I feel it. The spiritual thing is relaxing from your problem. For the benefit of the neophytes in the Raganuga Bhakti, Sri Raghunadasa has revealed the expertise of these ornamenting services through his prayers. What is this ornamenting? <laughs> Ornamenting is a reason speciality of the service. Ornamentaling the every limbs of Radhika you want to decorate. And she will not want to decorate anything. She no need any ornamenting. She's already so beautiful. But after that, you want to ornament that with Krishna's love and feelings. That is the beauty to go in your Siddha Deha. I you make a, that if you don't like, I want to ornament you. And you will say, yes, yes, do it. Yes, yes, you do it. Yes, you do. I give you order to do ornament. Go on. The neophyte should not serve as he likes it. <laughs> Independency. <laughs> we think that we serve. <coughs> but I like. That is vegan style. <laughs> I will offer you what I like because I am a vegan. I know take milk product, so I will do the all offering what I like. So this is the teaching. Vegan will not work here. What she like. That to do. That person who become vegan, they cannot do it. <laughs> Sorry to say, but I say you right. If you want to be devotee and ragavakti, we come out today immediately from vegan consciousness. <laughs> when you go fly here, then you say you vegan to eat nice. Uh, vegetarian food, but not meditate in vegan consciousness. Sorry. What she like that you have to do. What I like, I cannot serve that. First thing I have to change. This is the basic thing. Yeah. The neophyte should not serve as he likes it. It's he. <laughs> see, see. You cannot do. He <laughs> should serve 
according to Sri Radharani's wish. Yes. That is following. That is Anugata. That is follow. That means I follow you. Following in the footsteps of those who understand what is on Radharani's mind. That to follow. Rasik Bhaktas associate of Radhika to follow, to understand what is in her mind, who is very close to her to follow. Srila Narottam Dasakur has described it like this in his Prema Bhakti Chandrika. Maha Janera Yei Patha Tate Hobo Anurata Purva Purva Para Koriya Vichara Mm. <coughs> Be dedicated to the path outlined by the Mahajanas. Sri Rade. The Goswamis. And consider their teachings in past and present. Sri Rade. Mahajana, what is the line? Read again. Mahajanera yei padha. Tate hobo anurata. Anugata. Purva para koriya vichara. Be dedicated to the path outlined by the Mahajanas and consider their teachings in past and present. The Gaudiya Vaishnavas take, that take shelter of the Yuga Labhajan worship of Radha and Krishna, follow in the footsteps of Sri Rupa and Sri Raghunadasa Goswami. Why is mentioned in Dugalavaya? When my Swami is Radhika, then we only may keep only Radha Rani. No! I, I, what is my service as a Dasi, how to make happy to her? And she never happy without Krishna. So Radha's Krishna has to be together. This is my service. And this is a frame prayojan. What is this? That we are always in the service. Kitten, is the Nitya Rasa, Nitya, Nitya Bihar, means always we have in the service of Priya Pritam, and this is always we have to organize to be meeting to Radha and Krishna. That is my Pariyujan, that is my work to, to pay me how to unite to, to get together if he wants to go out to bring him back to my Swami. That is the job of me. So Jugar Bhajan, I want to see always together and to meet and they can feel and exchange their love. But 
Radha's Krishna. That Krishna who is my Swami's lover, that Krishna, not a supreme personality of God and Radha's Krishna, who never leave out of Vrindavan, who always leave with from my Swami, that Krishna. This is the Manjari Sadhana, but always together. They are Vrajas Manjaris that have descended to earth with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to teach expertise in serving the divine couple. They are very eager to teach the world how to make servants that are called Shakshat Sevadhikarini, girls that are qualified for direct devotional service, how they must direct. Mm. One is the indirect. And direct means I have to be there. I have to feel myself in my that there are that I am direct in doing. And I have to feel in my sadhak there are that I am direct in the service of my Swami and what work she gave me that is allotted for me to do. That service doing is your, can be your bhajan. The bhajan will bring you in your siddha deha. If you put direct to her in that sadhak deha also. Always see to her in sadhak deha and do the service direct to her. You, you do everything direct for her. This is your Siddha Vastha. That even in Sadak Deha, you are also in the service. Yeah, and if you think uh, that this is my business and this is my food seva, it will never work. Day and night you have to see that this is direct my service. In Sadak Deha, I cook for you. I do business for you. I serve anything for you. I take talk with others direct for you. I'm all arranging for you, paraphernalia, to serve you. What if I see carrying paraphernalia, manjaris? What is happening is a paraphernalia, and I'm holding that only for you. It's not possible. It can be possible if you are so that. With Vritti is a Suddha, Chitta Vritti is Suddha will become, it can be possible. If you stay in Mano Vritti, it's not possible. You come to Chitta Vritti, all will be directed to here. Yeah. Anything you use your physical body, 
it can be possible for service. Uh -huh. It can be possible for service. He said, one devotee asked me, when I go to my Pati Deva, I, I, I have a family and child, and that service will also be direct service. I said, Yes. Why not? If you are really looking to Samni, and if you are in Siddha Deha, then you are not in Sadak Deha. Why do you think that? Huh? One Bangla slope. Huh? This. Sadhana Bhavi Vayama. Ah, Siddha Deha Bhavi Vayama. Sadhana Bhavi Vayama. Siddha Deha Bhavi Vayama. Sadhana Bhavi if you practice this way, then you will get the Siddhati. And these circumstances, what is going out, art, art, that if you do anything for the pleasure of Krishna, is a prema. Atma, 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 Sudhu, Priti, Vancha, Dare, Kamanam. Atma, Sudhu, you have to enjoy. And you interested to enjoy something that is Kama. You are nowhere. And Krishna Sukha, Priti Vancha. Everywhere is Krishna. Krishna Sukha, Priti Vancha. Dare Premana. Is a deep meaning of that. But if we, she, she put me in these circumstances, and if you do this sadhana, and you can practice to see your siddha there, you can find it out. You are, you are, you, you are also that time with the Radha Rani Manjari Sarva. That has to understand, and then this is the very highest thing to realize it. Krishna so pretty Vancha. That moment is also, you are not detached with your conscious purity. Impurity cannot touch you, yeah, I can see. No. There are. So, without realization, is not understanding. So for realization, without bhajan kriya, bhajan with kriya not work. Bhajan and kriya, kriya means in sadhak deha behavior. Sadhak deha behavior is more important to reach to siddha deha. That is bhajan kriya. When it delays there, because my kriya is just reverse to my bhajan. I was watching myself 
why I am taking delay? It was because my Kriya is something in Siddhadeya and Sadhakya. So this delay went. But when you are in Kriya, in Sadhakya, then this is disturbance. And this is disturbance gone. Disturbance enter through the sadhak there. Because my senses, false ego is all there, not in Siddha there. So when the blockage is not there, floating is this easy to flow. Sorry, I can say, it, but without realization, you will not understand. There are, but one day you will see that it happens like this. Because there is my eyes only want the eyes want to see the beautiful thing. But when my Siddha Deha will see that beauty and Sadak Deha will realize this beauty, there is no interest in other beauty. Which becomes fixed one point. It's the nature of the eyes it's to find beautiful thing. This is the nature of the smell to find beautiful smell. This is the nature of the air to find the sweet mellow, sweetest mellow. Is the nature of the tongue to test. Best, very tasteful things. So these are the Brahmana. When they become balanced in our life, all become okay, easy to reach. Brahmanas are not supporting us. <laughs> Guru, <laughs> they all are Guru. <laughs> <coughs> Prabhupada saying, Brahmanas are our Guru. They control their ways, <laughs> very independent. When they become Anugata, to the service of Adi, <coughs> the Sudra will want to do to. to slap, they will be okay. Sudras are no problem. Brahmanas are the problems. I give some initiation to Brahmanas. They teach me. I cannot teach them. I understand this way. These Brahmanas, I cannot teach them. They are sometimes controlling me also. So both are <laughs> teaching me. And this way we have to understand. Yeah. These are the Brahmanas by Shastra telling. If you can control these Brahmanas in one manner, you are lucky, all set. There are. <laughs> Go on. Siddha, understand? <laughs> yeah. And also one that I know mention is a false ego. And his intelligence also. When the influence of false ego, intelligence gone.
Ya. Yeah. The compilations Stava Mala of Srila Rupa Goswami and Stavavali of Srila Raghunathas Goswami are filled with their experiences and their expertise in bhajan and are thus most relishable. From this confidential treasure of bhajan can be learned how to be eager for devotional service. How intense was the love in separation of Rupa and Raghunath? This distress is not a worldly kind of distress. It is distress soaked in transcendental bliss. Yeah. Is it so easy to feel the want of Shiradika? It cannot be felt without being absorbed in the identification of a maid servant. The Acharyas have thought, do bhajan by awakening your desire. When feelings of separation have awoken, everything can be given up. Nothing can or should be given up by force. Srila Narottam prays, Kobe Krishna Dahana Babu, Hiara Majhare Tobo, Judaibe E Papa Parana. When will I get the Krishna treasure and keep it in my heart? thus soothing my sinful life airs. There is no other way to soothe the life airs. Taste for worldly things will automatically be lost. Can a flower garland around the neck and sandalwood pulp on the forehead satisfy you when you are hungry? Can you peacefully eat and sleep when your heart is pierced? by a lance. In the same way, the Goswamis naturally lost 
their appetite for material pleasure out of separation from Radha and Krishna. This stage should be reached through the same process of balanced detachment and sincere selfless devotion. Balanced detachment. Hmm. Not unbalanced detachment. Hmm. One has to see if unbalanced detachment is not going to work, even the Siddha Babaji's. And when we do in our sadhak, uh, there unbalanced detachment, it not works. Then you become doer. Do not live in the mercy. When you live in the mercy, then you can watch yourself that mind, how it moves like that. Mercy is flowing to me or not. How I can balance myself. So balance detachment. Is recommended. Sorry, I interrupt you. Read. I am reading only to be interrupted. No. <laughs> <laughs> this stage should be reached through the same process of balanced detachment and sincere, selfless devotion. Yes. <coughs> sincere, selfless When I listen to devotional practice and devotion, I remember Prabhupada, honestly I say. Because Bhagavad Gita, page 4, it reminds me how Prabhupada made to the ignorant people to the who has no idea of anything, who never knows about Krishna, never about the anything, he said, only by devotional practice and your relation, you can get yourself. What is the PSD course? After master, they say in Gaudiya Math, or not say, I don't know, in Islam, they say sometimes, but in Deva Dharma, when you come, then you know something. But this thing, Prabhupada writes in the page four, by devotional practice, you know yourself. But a merciful work. Line. Ah, really, it touched me. Saru, it's straight Saru. He talk about Saru. He you know, say that Krishna is the goal. By devotional practice, you will get the Saru. Your form. What form? What is your form? What is your nature of the service? What you are friend? 
you are motherly love or you want to serve Radhika. That's Sarup. Then in the same line, he said, this is your goal. Sarup Siddhi is the goal of your spiritual life. And this is the Gaudiya Vaishnava Sadhana. Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. Prem, Parayojan is our Sadhana. In Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. You are necessary and your Ishtadev, your goal is necessary, is your Ishtadev. That's it. And any moment of time, it goes out from that, is it wasting your time? <laughs> you see? Wasting your time. If you not practice your saru and you not develop perfection in that, you will deviate. And the moment you will develop perfection, you will only live in your saru and you will always fix with it. No other business you will like and you don't like to talk it. out of this subject. So generous, so broad way. You know, say, who, what is your sarup and what is to sit there? You keep A, your sarup, and you practice B, no problem. But this has to do any way. And you read Anandas Babaji, same thing he is telling. If you can understand the meanings, what he is trying to explain us. This is Mahajan's word. Go on. One must practice great patience in that process. Yes, see, patience is necessary. <laughs> Quick result cannot come because too many layers of blockage are there. Too many layers we... So this layer has to clean it, na? It takes time to block it. So many life, we block ourselves with the different, different ideas. And the favorable circumstances that this blockage not hold us. This is favorable circumstances in my life. If not, then blockage will come. I will block myself there. I will so useless wasting my time. <laughs> this told you to us sadhagas. It takes time to remove my blockage, not Radha Krishna's blockage create. I created my previous life so many blockages this life. That has to be Right or not? Mm -hmm.
so many information I gather that has removed. <laughs> One must practice great patience in that process and not try to jump artificially to such soaring heights. See, Radhe, this is the highest, my dear. Prabhupada make very short word, Sarup and Sarup Siddhi, but it's very, very heavy and strong words. Why I say page four, page four, page four. If you realize this, you understand Bhagavad Gita. If you not understand this page four, you hundred times read, you will never understand Bhagavad Gita. One way you can understand some may words meaning, but it's not sufficient to understand Krishna's word. Pabu Radha Krishna Pa Gucci Bemone Raga Dure Chabe Esab Vikala. Again, when Pabu Pabu Radha Krishna Pa Gucci Bemone Raga. Dure jabe e sab vikal. When I attain Radha Krishna's lotus feet, all contamination will go from my mind. Sweet and all anxiety will go far away. Why this is the way? Radha Dasi is the way. That Radha Dasi becoming, the Radha Rani give the feet, Krishna will sure give, because Jugal Upasana power, Ra Radha Krishna. So that way all will clean. If this is the easiest way, until now, I could not recognize myself as Sri Radhika's maid servant. You see, I cannot recognize my Saru. <laughs> That I am Radha Das. How I will develop Siddhi perfection in that. The day I will recognize my Saru, that I am Radha Das. I make my so easy. You cannot believe my dear. Never happen, I see. You leave all the books and read and by heart all books, you will not understand anything. But only to accept Radha Dasi and try to be a Radha Dasi, you will start understanding many things. And when she will accept you, there will be no any problems in life. And if you find your Sarup Siddhi, what Prabhupada said, is all done. When the perfection will come, it will live in yourself. 
you are there. You are outside or inside, outside or inside, no meaningful. You are Sarusuddha. You talk material, spiritual, you watch smoke, drink, alcohol, or what you do, you are Siddha You are not in your bodily consciousness. What you do is no meaning. What you dress, what you do, nothing. You are aware, clothed or not aware, what you do is set the purpose. Sarup Siddhi, Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. Your Siddhi is yourself. Sarup Siddha. You not move from yourself. That is city, Sarup city. Your identification not become moving one place. And this is the spiritual way part. Now, you imagine you know the Sarup, one thing. Then what is necessary to know about the <coughs> creation, time, karma? You need something to know of this. <laughs> eh? Say? No. So Prabhupada said, if you cannot do this indirectly, then go in time, karma, creator, atma, these things, try to learn. If you cannot do this, then this thing you do, more out, more out, more out, more out. But what I like, outer thing I like, inner thing you don't like, what is easy to do? What is the easy to do that I live with because it's a 24 7 job, <laughs> an outer thing easy to sometime to do, and then some information together like this. And life is going on comfortably. What you are doing, I am a devotee. What type of devotee you are? I am oh, a Krishna, I am vegetarian, this, that. But every day fighting. And what you are devotee? You have no jiva there. You have no humbleness. Trinadapi is sunichena. But what you practice? No trinadapi, no practice. It's too much for this is a teaching for it. But what you are doing? Me? It's interesting, you see that? We have to do the reality. Prabhupada's first step were Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. And you do little practice and then judge other things and see how merciful he was. to the person who don't know anything, A, B, C, about Vedic knowledge, he says the key, he gives the key first to you. If you don't want key, okay, then I give you varanda. If you don't want to varanda, then I give you some tin shed. If you don't want tin shed, then I give you some tent. No, if I don't want tent even, then it takes a parking lot. <laughs> yeah. 
make your tent. <laughs> Sorry, just I say. Mm. Until now, I could not recognize myself. Mm as Sri Radhika's maid servant. <laughs> this is the worship of love. And all love accepts defeat by the love of Radharani's maid servants. Nah. How wonderful is the mood of the manjaris who worship Sri Radhika. Sri Radhika Aradhika. Sripad Prabodhananda Saraswati glorifies them as follows. May the worshippers or the maidservants of Shiradika, whose minds are like bumblebees, that are intoxicated by constantly drinking the honey from Radha and Mohana's lotus feet. Who always cry great streams of tears whose bodies are studded with goose pimples out of great ecstatic love for them. And who greatly lament when they are unable to serve their master and mistress for even a moment because they have momentarily fainted of great ecstasy or because the youthful couple have hidden themselves from them in great ecstasy May they be revealed to me. After Swamini has been fully dressed and ornamented, she goes to Krishna's abode, Nandishwara, to cook for him. But first, she will offer oblations to the sun god, her father's worshipable deity. On a platform made of sunstones, She does not desire any material benefit from the sun god, but she simply prays for Mohana's welfare and for a meeting with him 
without obstacles. Later in the afternoon, at about 3 p.m., she offers a full formal worship, puja, to the sun god. That is described in Govinda Lilamrita. Shiradika comes to the town of Suryakund about 12 kilometers north of Radhakund with her girlfriends while Mohana has come dressed like a priest, Brahmana, named Vishwa Sharma Brahmachari to perform the ceremony. His body, draped in saffron robes, shines with the resultant effulgence of celibacy. <laughs> Mother Jatila is there. So Mohana says, I am a brahmachari, a celibate student. I do not touch women. Touch this kusha grass while accepting me as your priest. How wonderful is that mantra of acceptance. I accept Vishwa Sharma, whose dynasty performs welfare work for the world and who is most pure as my priest. And the naughty side of this verse is, I accept Krishna, who bestows welfare on the world by the recitation of his holy name, who is the best of knowers of erotic flavors, Shuchirasa, as my priest. Swamini understands all these secret jokes made by Krishna in front of her mother-in-law. How beautiful is her face. Therefore, she is named Sumuki in this verse. After she accepts Vishma Sharma as her ritual priest, she must recite another mantra. I offer my obeisances to the effulgent sun god Mitra, who destroys the darkness and who has a red splendor at dawn and dusk. Second meaning, I have given to Mitra, my beloved, who is endowed with the splendor of Sri, the goddess of fortune as a golden stripe on his chest. 
who destroys the affliction caused, caused by Cupid, who is very passionate, and who is the friend of the Padminis, the lotus-like gopis. While Sri Radhika recites these mantras, the Brahmachari Mohana offers flowers, Padya and Arkya to the deity of the sun god. Swamini is very eager to offer the oblations being faced by Jatila. How sweetly she stands there, surrounded by her dearest girlfriends. That is why she is named Mugd Angi, the girl with the enchanting limbs. The Rasika Manjaris have prepared an altar made of sunstones with different paraphernalia for this formal worship. Mukthangi offers oblations to awaken desires. Everyone's minds and hearts float away in innumerable directions on the stream of the relish of wonderfully variegated, variegated transcendental flavors. Old Jatila, satisfied with the procedure of the ritual, offers eatables and Radhika's jeweled ring to the Brahmachari as a reward. How much fun all the gopis have inwardly. Our Brahmachari, who claims to be a disciple of Gargamuni, accepts nor the food nor the ring. He is learned in astrology and marine scriptures, and he tells all Jatila, I am purchased only by the love of the people of Vraja. Knowing that Vishwasharma is also a great astrologer, Jatila says, I would be blessed if you could read the hand of my daughter-in-law so that you could tell me about her future success and failure. Seeing Radhika's hand palm, Vishwasharma becomes overwhelmed by ecstasy and concealing his astonishment, he says, how amazing when I see all these sacred signs in her head, hand, I am convinced that this girl is the goddess of fortune herself. Wherever she stays, 
all opulence and auspiciousness can be found. Yeah. Yeah. Just nice. Yeah. Each limb of Radharani is filled with waves of Mahaba. <clears throat> How much <clears throat> her heart is shivering. Swamini thinks this boy must be Mohana. Otherwise, why would I feel so ecstatic? My desires would be fulfilled if I could unite with this Brahmachari. Tulasi, being in a sense non different from Swamini, feels these desires. You'll see our feelings in a moment. This is the mercy come to us, reminded So lucky and so fortunate. Even the feeling come, but you feel only by looking feelings come. Wow. Is a closeness. Tulasi, being in a sense non different from Swamini, uh -huh. feels these desires also awakening in her heart, and she thinks. It would be great if I could unite my Swamini with this Brahmachari. But her mother-in-law is around, so there is just no way. Oh, Radhe, I am so unqualified. I could not serve you according to your heart's wishes. Thus, lamentations well up and the vision disappears. In external consciousness, Shiragunata then prays to Swamini's lotus feet for this devotional service. <coughs> hey, Mukdhangi, Shiradike, with the enchanting limbs. O Princess of Rishabhan, surrounded by your dear most girlfriends. Mm -hmm. You sit on a brilliant altar made of sandstones and offer oblations to the sun god with great devotion. You are very eager to offer different items. So I am staying right next to you to help you. Oh, Ishwari, please fulfill this desire of mine. This maidservant just 
wants to serve you favorably. And this is the end of the verse 45. Jai Shirat. Garanga Sundar. Sorry, today I share something so you can quote some sweet words. I like your explanations. Radha Radha Gurudev, I beg you, I am apologize, but I would like to relish deep your Mahavanis because you said so many beautiful things and important things and I think that we can stop here. <laughs>